Okay. What's up, YouTube? This is Brub52, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, I kind of want to explain why I haven't played Minecraft in a week. So, I did a video. I did two videos of Minecraft, in fact. But I, I did a new thing with my exports. Basically, I had it, like, on my display capture, so I had Minecraft at full screen, and OBS, which is my recording software, was just recording my whole screen, including Minecraft. Minecraft was on the, on the entire screen, and that's what you guys saw. But that time I played where it, I had it, like, in a tiny window on my monitor, and I had it to a mode where it would capture, it would capture Minecraft, that window of what I was playing in. But it messed up, like, the dimensions, like, the magnification got really messed up, and I couldn't fix it. So you could only see the top left of my screen, and you wouldn't be able to see the game at all. So that was weird. But in those two episodes, I moved to a completely different hemisphere and built a new house. You guys missed a lot. I'm sorry. I, I really am. It's just... Well, nothing changed. Like, we didn't go on a mining expedition or anything. We only... We only built this house, as far as I'm aware. And there's some dirt here, but ignore that. I'm too lazy to fix that. Okay. I'm still playing in the window, but I'm making 100% sure that it's okay, because I have OBS literally right next to the game screen. Actually, I'm going to do that. So OBS is now completely next to the game. And it seems to be fine. So I can see my webcam as well at the same time, so I can see if I'm in frame or not. And yeah. So, I really don't know what we're going to do in this episode. We could go mining again, because we do need some more diamonds. We only got like five from that. I'm pretty sure we have enough for an enchantment table. Also, this is good, because I can like pull up a web browser and look up stuff if I need to. I'm not going to do that a lot, but if I need to, I'll, I'll be able to do that. Um, I don't exactly know what to do. What do we need to do to beat... What do we do to beat this game? I totally forget how to beat Minecraft. You need to find. You need to kill Enderman. But there's also the Wither Boss and there's the Guardians. So I really don't know what boss we're gonna go for on this. If we're gonna do that, I don't. We're just probably gonna survive. We can do that. Also, it's very hard to see. The snow makes it seem like there's not even a platform here, but there's a jump. It's very crazy. Also, my microphone's in a different place. It's not on my little arm because that arm always gets in the way of my keyboard and i figured i'll just set it up on my desk so i can move my arm all around and i can do that now and that, that happened a lot with uh freddy fazbear's pizzeria simulator like if i got scared also i cooked all these legit i didn't put them in from creative um and this bow i got from a skeleton but if i was doing uh a jump scare in that game like I, I couldn't move very much because if I did, my my arm was under the arm. So if I jumped, my my like legit arm would push the microphone arm up and just like throw everything across the room. So I always had to contain, contain myself doing that. But this way it's fine. I'm still gonna put it on the arm for gaming. But first, some OBS stuff. Mainly Minecraft because it's the only thing I do in OBS. That's so uh, that's what we're gonna do. Speaking of what we're going to do, we can scale this mountain. So for me, it's the first day of spring break. For you, it's the second day of spring break, because I'm doing these day after day. So so for the first day of spring break, uh, I'm going to do two videos a day this spring break. I'm, I did it last year for Thanksgiving, but I figured uh, I'm just I destroyed myself last year. I don't know what it was about. But it seems pretty okay for me. Um, both Dylan and Caden are away for spring break. Caden's taking his Xbox to LA with him, so he'll be able to play with me at night, but never on videos with you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, but Dylan went to Ecuador to see his family, uh, and he didn't bring his Xbox. I don't know how long he's going to be away. I'm pretty sure he's going to be away the whole time. Caden will be coming back halfway into spring break. So around, like, Wednesday or Thursday, you guys can expect to see him in videos again. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk about what we're going to be doing this spring break. Excuse the voice crack, but we're, what we're going to do this spring break. 
I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, the next Best of Bride 52 is coming out. I've already started working on it a little bit. Uh, so it's going to be capturing stuff from the beginning of this year to March because we had the New Year's video and that had a lot of clips that I didn't want to put two times in compilations. So I, I was just going to do from January 1st to March 10th. And that's going to be coming up on the one-year anniversary of the first one. The first one came up on March 19th, I'm pretty sure, and it's March 10th for me right now. Uh, so it's going to be coming up March 19th, which I'm pretty sure is not even during spring break. It's going to be like the Wednesday of spring break. I did, I did that whole thing in one day. I don't know how it was possible. I hopped on Fillmore and I was like, you know what, I really want to do a hyper-edited compilation. So I did it. I spent about five hours on it, really proud. And uh, I went to the export. I had no idea the watermark was going to be there. So I exported it, and the watermark was there. So for the whole video, it said Filmora editing software. So I have my own free editing software now. It's very good. I just barely discovered about the shaking effect, which is what I used to make the uh, my old, old favorite clip. The I'm really, really bad at multiplayer. Still my favorite video I've ever made on this channel to date. Because it's just so... F it's the only funny video I've ever made, really. It's it's hilarious. You guys should totally watch it. I'll link it in the uh, in the end cards, I think. Hopefully, if I remember. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of talking. Also, uh, I'm going to have... My Fortnite Kill compilation coming out. It's gonna be like a Mr. T Lexify video, and I was watching this video called What Makes Mr. T Lexify Video Great. It's been my recommended a lot, so I just kind of popped it on to see what it was about. And it was very interesting, and I really do like Mr. T Lexify. He's my favorite zombies YouTuber. Um, so what it, it was talking about a thing called, uh, ah, I forget what the, ter the term is called, but it's called like something montage, where you can convey a lot of information over, like, the course of, like, a minute through music. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a Mr. T-Lexophile, Mr. T-Lexophile style video like that, where it's going to be, it's going to be to the tune of my boy, I have the tiger by Survivors. I totally forgot what the band's called. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all of the Survivor fans out there. Yeah, that's what they're called. They're for sure. That's what they're called. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be tuned to that. It's pretty cool. It's coming along great. I just don't have enough kills in Fortnite to, uh, to do that. And I've been streaming a lot of Fortnite recently, which is a nice segue into what I was gonna talk about next. I was streaming! I streamed all of last week to kind of test the waters for streaming. Uh, the first couple streams went great. Uh, they were awesome. But... I got a new router, and that's what uh, inspired me the drive to start streaming, was because I got a new router. And the new router, I, I was talking about, like, we were going over it when I was setting it up on, like, last Tuesday. And there, we were talking about download and upload speeds, obviously, because that's what you look for in a, a good router. And it, it got me thinking about streaming and how that affects the streaming bitrate. And I was like, you know what, with this new router, it was looking great, by the way. The upload and download for that router was looking great. So I was like, you know what? I bet this is going to be the perfect router to stream on. And it wasn't. It was definitely not. The complete opposite, in fact. I couldn't pull off 720p for the life of me, which is why all the streams, if you hopped into one, was in a square box on the screen, which really frustrated me. Because in YouTube, you need to look professional for it in order to pe for people to like you. And I was talking about this on one of the streams. Um, you need to look professional for people to like you, because if you look... Like, you don't know what you're doing, and your videos are looking crappy. No one's gonna like you. And that's what this wall padding does, and that's why I was so incredibly angry that it was not in the rectangle that all videos are in. And it was really frustrating. And the streams died down later, and that was fine with me. I kind of got tired of streaming. By the last stream, I was like, you know what? I really didn't want to stream today. Not really, but, you know, I wasn't really feeling the stream today. But that's what was happening. Wow, I haven't achieved anything in this episode. I'm just kind of walking. Ow. Uh, I totally forgot. I just lost my train of thought. 
But yeah, I really... There is a router called a gaming router that allows you to have high bit rates and upload speeds for which to stream on. So that's what I'm looking into next, or that's what my parents are looking into next to get me. And that's what I'm probably going to get for my birthday next, which is going to be the gaming router and something else. I don't. Oh yeah, pre-ordering Black Ops 4. I watched that reveal live as it was happening on on Wednesday, I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday or Thursday, that that live stream was going on, on Twitch, where they were revealing the trailer, and it was insane, dude, I was losing it, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so hyped, I am, probably shouldn't be out at night and take my fingers off of the keyboard, but I was so hyped. I was losing it in the middle of my uh, study hall, <laughs> but it was really cool, and it looks really cool, and I cannot wait to forget what you know. If you didn't watch Lux's video, you have no idea what I'm talking about. And it's also been a running joke between me and Caden to just be like, forget what you know. We were losing it last night. We, we stayed up till like 2 in the morning last night. And we were just playing Minecraft because we were so bored. Not on PC, mind you. He doesn't have a PC, but an Xbox. And we were just playing because we wanted to play, and it was hilarious. Like, I don't want to die. I'm just saying. Okay, I got I got back and I got all my stuff back. What I was talking about. We were we were losing it last night. It was hilarious. We were just screeching and saying stale memes and just laughing at them and that's that is the best way to make a youtube video and that is what people really enjoy in youtube videos is just frick not again no don't kill me but that's what people really look for in youtube videos and that's what i really want to capture when i'm making youtube videos with my friends it's not a sense of professionalism to some degree like not in like in What's the word? And frick, uh. Oh my god, it's on the tip of my tongue. It starts with an I. Oh, it's so hard. Ignorant, there it is. To the, to the sense of being professional, so you're not ignorant in the way that you make videos and how it works. So that's to, to a great degree a sense of professionalism. He's probably freaking out because it's raining. But, um, the other, it has to be, like, laid-back fun. Not stupid, boring, playing a video game, but really fun, hectic, just crazy fun. And that's what makes old Markiplier videos great with his friends, because they're always just having a great time playing video games. Oh, this music. And, uh, that is the best way to make a YouTube video. And that's what you should really try to capture. I, I've said that too many times now. So I'm going to try to do that a lot. But my friends, to be honest, aren't playing video games as much anymore. Like, Rowdy Ramen, he only gets on, like, during the weekends and for very little time. And it's kind of sad to see, to be honest. So he he's slowly getting pushed away from video games. And that's fine with me. He's not my concern. But, you know, that's just, like, it's, it's one guy down sorry about that my brother walked in but like dylan's gone for the most part but we still have caden caden's gonna be here caden's really like feeling the drive to make youtube videos with me and i really appreciate that caden he's he's a great friend and we also have milo he's he's not playing as much but he's still like hilarious he's probably one of the funniest guys i know besides dylan and we also have abraham too abraham's awesome he loves playing Fortnite, so he's going to be a great addition to Fortnite videos. Kyron's here too. Kyron's awesome. It's really great how this YouTube family is growing because Abraham was an old friend from middle school. And he got an Xbox and he was just like ready to make YouTube videos. No, I mean, he's, he doesn't want to be a YouTuber. He's no like reason to be a YouTuber. But he's, he's really behind me on like making a YouTube video with me because he really enjoys doing it. And just playing Fortnite with us. Um, and Kyron, like wants to be in my videos and that's really awesome you know? and patrick he's a friend from uh 
my my Booker T, and he uh, he's trying to get an Xbox, and then he's gonna start playing with us, and that's really awesome. You know, we might be losing some people, but we're also gaining a lot of people. And pretty soon, like, this channel's gonna, like, flourish. And, like, everyone will know about us. Well, maybe not everyone, but, you know. To a certain degree, like, we'll have a really nice community growing, I feel. And it's really, it's really, really cool to see all that growing within uh, the channel. To, to a certain degree, like, very slowly. And I'm fine with that, I'm really fine with that. It's gonna be pretty slow. I'm I'm really stretched to a confined box with my capabilities because I'm in school. But you know, it's it's gonna be great. I I can feel it. Trust me, I can feel that this is gonna be great. I have a lot of hope for the channel. So in this video, I achieved zero percent of anything. But I talked about a lot of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. I like your guys' thing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.